I am Dr. Franklin Yao with Vanguard Vascular and Bain. In this short video, I will be talking to you about advances in wound care therapy for our patients. I will discuss with you the new developments in wound care and the science behind them. Thank you for tuning in. I will have answers to all your questions coming right up. Many patients present to our clinic with a non-healing wound. A non-healing wound is defined as a wound that has not healed after undergoing treatment for more than six weeks. Some of the factors uh, that affect a wound not healing include untreated diabetes, a pressure ulcer, poor blood flow, varicose veins and venous insufficiency, chronic untreated infection, or radiation injury. Most of the time, if you're able to maximize a patient's nutritional status, maximize their blood flow, and adequately treat their underlying infection, the wound will heal. At the initial evaluation, um, the wound is measured and pictures are taken. A skin biopsy is sometimes performed to exclude a malignancy. The essential first step in wound care is wound debridement of non-viable tissue because non-viable tissue can perpetuate infection and also negatively affect growing cells. Debridement can be performed surgically or mechanically with surgical instruments and local anesthesia, or chemically with an enzymatic agent that dissolves uh, non-viable tissue. The next step is to address reversible causes for the non-healing wound. For example, if the blood flow is poor, then the patient may need to undergo a vascular procedure to improve the blood flow for wound healing. Or, if the ulcer is due to a venous ulcer from venous insufficiency, then perhaps a venous ablation can be performed to help the venous ulcer to heal. After the wound has been adequately debrided and reversible causes have been reversed, the next step is to see if advanced modality therapies such as biologic dressings may be helpful. Biologic products are engineered living cells which are applied directly onto the wound to help in wound healing. They have three major effects. The first is that the biologic cells secrete growth factors that stimulate blood vessel growth, as well as cytokines that decrease inflammation. Secondly, these cells uh, keep the wound from desiccating or drying out, keeping the cells viable. And third, these biologic dressing also has an antimicrobial effect, keeping these uh, wounds from getting infected. In summary, for many of the non-healing wounds that our patients have, if an adequate debridement is performed, if the reversible causes are addressed, and if advanced modality wound care therapies are used, most of these wounds can be healed in our vascular clinic. Thank you for tuning in to this video about wound care. I hope that it has been educational. If you are interested in other uh, vascular topics, please check out our other available videos.